Just pull it up. There we go. That's it. Welcome back, guys. We have Zach here, the lucky owner of the Cybertruck right over here. And we're going to be creating a lot more content. And for this one, a lot of you guys were asking about the mirror. So obviously, when it first came out, they didn't really have the mirror. And they were saying that they might have like the, the camera over here right. and just not do that. But at the end production one, it ended up doing this. Yes. And it's fairly large. Legal reasons. Legal yeah. reasons. Yeah, <laughs> very, very important. So if you want to get a Cybertruck, you're going to have the mirror. So it's pretty big. We were kind of talking about it. If we go all the way to, I guess, like the trims, it's like 14 inches. But realistically, this is a body. So if we do that, it's more like 10 inches out wide. Yeah. So it's not as bad as it sounds, but... I mean, it's already a big vehicle. You had that on both sides. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's huge. So it even looks bigger, but like the mirror itself, if you go from the base all the way around, it's almost like 20 inches, right? Like 19. And then at the vertical, it's like, I don't know, like 10 inches, right? So I don't know why, it just looks so big compared to like other mirrors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove it. And the reason why we're removing it is um, a lot of times if I don't have to remove for vinyl wraps, uh, I don't because why, right? You don't wanna risk anything. But this is literally the easiest mirror I've ever removed. But it does have power, it does fold in and out. So there are a connection right under here. So we're gonna show you that. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. So there's literally, you see this like clip right here? This is just like a rubber gasket. And there's actually, that's what it is. Ah, gotcha. It's not even like a real clip. Uh -huh. It's just kind of like built into it. And then there's a little bit more over here. There you go. Just like yes. a friction fit. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So it's built in. It's not, again, like a like clip, like very normal. Tesla. Yeah, very, very <laughs> Tesla. But as soon as you do that, you reveal this. This is actually attached kind of to the door panel. Mm -hmm. But you notice that I don't even have to remove or even touch the door panel. Most uh, other Teslas, like Model 3, you actually have to remove the door panel in order to access these bolts. And they are three bolts, but uh, you have to remove the whole thing. It's, it's a kind of ordeal, right? So we're going to go ahead and remove these. What I like to do whenever I remove anything like mirrors is I don't like using power tools. So we're going to be using a ratchet and then I have this little nub and then we're going to go ahead and loosen it up and be very, very gentle. There you go. Just loosening it up. That's all I'm trying to do. There you go. And then once you get it loosened up, I'm actually not afraid for it to come off um, because there's actually clips in the bottom as well. There's two clips in the side holding it down. So it's actually not going to pop out, but for safety reasons, I'm still going to be careful, of course. These are M8s, um, and then the, for my torque screws, uh, I'm using a T30. It's pretty long, so this is the bolt that comes out. Like putting in the floorboard. And we're going to show you what it looks like once you remove it. Um, I think we're, uh, Zach and I were kind of talking about like, I don't know, putting like a steel plate on top, figuring out a way to do it and hide it. But it might look like a sore thumb, so we have to figure out a seamless way to make it look good. Yeah, almost like how the, the, the seams on the front. Yeah. If you pull something like, like this off right here. You're right. Yeah, something like that would be nice. So it, it kind of, it, it feels like it's like a part of it. Right. But I guess like the number one thing is the weather seal. So if you are going to do that, make sure at the bottom of it where it connects, there needs to be some sort of a seal. Um, right. These are going to be fine. I mean, there's water that goes into this area and, and there's a way to, for it to escape, I'm sure. However, um, you don't want to like just put water in this door for no reason. Do you mind just like, just kind of putting a hand there just in case mm -hmm. it's not going to fall. There's actually a little clip. So I'm going to try to see, you see that right there? Yeah. So once you pull it, you get access to the mirror connection right there. Ah, uh, gotcha. So you see this black? Mm -hmm. That's what you're pushing. Mm -hmm. And then while you're pushing, you kind of have to bring it out. There you go. And now we're actually ready to remove it. So Zach, you want to do the honors? Just pull it up? You literally just pull it up. There you go. That's it. Nice. And that's the cable. Yeah. Oh. But you can see how easy that was to remove. 
Love that thing. I mean, I love that insert. I mean, yeah. that little, you just pop it out and then That's just great. connect it. This is what it looks like though, once you remove it. Um, no, no, bueno. Doesn't look good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So that's what it looks like from the inside. And we're gonna go ahead and close it just to kind of give you a better view. So that's what it looks like once closed. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so you got the, I don't even know what this is, but. Uh, that can be removed though. Um, it's just a little padding because, I mean, I'll show you what, I'm, what, what it is. So like, you see right here, this, they have more weather seal right here. Mm. Uh, it's like a padding. Uh, it's not an adhesive, it's just more padding so that it sits a little sure. bit more snug. They have this the, that gasket right here. Right. So I guess you could kind of like tuck it in and then... Pull in the knot give you a, a gap going in here. Just get yeah. the weatherproofing up to here. You're right, you're right. So I'm not sure what you do over there. Hmm. I don't know, the other way is like kind of do the similar thing that would go around like a mirror, mm -hmm. but you will see a raised edge. Right. So that looks like crap, right? So I don't know if like this stays or like that needs to be modified and it has to go all the way back here, right? For the weather seal. So I think we're going to try to figure out a way to, you know, we're going to wrap the mirror for, for now, right? but we're going to try to figure out a way to cover this up. So that's how you remove the mirror. Really, really easy. Um, we're going to have to put it back, unfortunately, but no. that was pretty, that was pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So again, easiest mirror ever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to our cyber life. Yes. Um, he just has a new video about his experience at the delivery. One of the first that's actually documented. So check out their channel. It's going to be awesome. They're actually going to be going on a trip. Yeah, right? we're heading to California next week. So, uh, so lots more videos coming. Yeah, coming a way. lot of fun stuff and do a lot of cyber stuff. So give them a subscribe and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'll see you later. Thanks.